coming up on the next episode. YouTube is 11:57, uh, almost noon. Uh, here with you today on the uh, free NAS. Uh, you guys may recall yesterday I was mentioning uh, going to make a free NAS uh, server out of my HP, and basically I have done that without destroying any of the other uh, uh, stuff on the hard drive. Uh, what I did was to hook up the one terabyte. Uh, external USB drive to that system and I have the operating system booting off of a uh, flash drive 16 gigabyte flash drive and uh, so it's running off of that and it's basically just using the USB drive as the uh, free NAS uh, storage and you can see here this is uh, says USB on free NAS and that's what I named it was USB uh, and that's what uh, I have just copied over there to it. You can see that it is accessible uh, to uh, me. I can play things from it. I don't know how well it will play. I haven't tried it, but it does play. Coming up on today's episode... So there you can see that does work, and that is running from the uh, FreeNAS server. Uh, so it works pretty good. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Uh, that's uh, what I have on this. It's not much. Uh, I just wanted to test copy basically to uh, see uh, how, how well it worked. Um, the, uh, the deal is on this, I don't know how long I'm going to run it like this, but I just want to test it out and I did that. First thing I had to do was go ahead and change permissions, which was really not mentioned in the um, how-to on this. It just says basically set it up and, and uh, do this. I set this up as a Windows Share mainly because Windows Share can be accessed by Unix systems, Linux systems, uh, Mac systems, uh, of course Windows, and uh, that's why I, I chose the uh, it's Samba is what it is, but uh, they call it CIFS now. Um, so basically it can be I can take any kind of a system on my network and access the uh, files from this and it should be the same no matter what and that's what I wanted was something as easy to do uh, naturally both my computers on my network are only are Linux so I really only need to do that but you know, this is just makes it easier all around to do it because I sometime in the future or even if I boot up uh, this computer in Windows 10 I can still access everything and so that's why I did that and uh, so that is why it is accessible to all the operating systems um, there uh, again is about uh, a terabyte terabyte uh, available I think it's at 899. It's 888 now because I've got the, this on here. Um, basically, there's just three little files in there, but uh, so that's just uh, that's just the way I did it. And uh, like I said, I kind of wanted to show you. Now the uh, the uh, not the uh, interface is what I'm thinking. Yeah, the interface is here. It is running as you can see. Uh, on the uh, browser, uh, this is Brave browser, and you basically just put the IP address in, which is on in this case is 10.0.0.25, and that uh, connects you to the FreeNAS uh, interface, and you can do whatever you need to do for the server or to the server, I should say maybe, and from this point, and that's all you need to do. Basically, when you boot up. Uh, free NAS on the uh, computer in there uh, it comes up to a uh, point where it says it's got uh, I think 11 choices and uh, you know you can choose anything you want from there or you can go in here and access it this way and uh, that's how you obviously want to do it because this is how easy it is to get to it 
Uh, like I said, there's really, I have two shares according to this. Now, this is the old one. This one needs to be gotten rid of, and I haven't yet figured out how to get rid of it. But that was not accurate. It did not work. I had to go into this USB um, mount here and change the permissions. As I said, this is how you do it. Change permissions here. It takes you to this uh, screen here, and basically you set it up to be able to access it from your system and it, it said owner root before and I changed it to Doug it chose changed the owner group to Doug and uh, changed the access uh, read write and all that stuff and got that all done and hit uh, change and it all changed just fine and I did use the set permissions recursively says it covers all the uh, what do you call it permission type is Windows uh, so that's that's what I did and that's that's all I did on that so like I can say that was pretty easy to do even though it wasn't documented and uh, like I say it's it's this thing can be done for used for a lot of different stuff uh, there's plugins that you can use in here and I, I don't know exactly what they do but uh, there are plugins that you can put on this I think they're mainly for media sharing like Plex servers things like that uh, you know and it can be done that way this is a pretty decent little uh, NAS uh, network attached storage system, and it's like I said, it's much cheaper than buying one. Uh, I, again, the uh, cheapest one I seen was a hundred and sixty dollars or something like that, and uh, you you still have to do the same thing with it that you were doing to this, and it's it's really not that hard. So uh, I I kind of enjoy this uh, messing with this stuff, and uh, like I said, this is a lot of fun. Now one of the things that I don't have on this system and I'm running an older version of FreeNAS because uh, the latest one only works with a computer with 8 gig of, of RAM and uses a different file system called ZFS uh, instead of UFS like what this is using. Um, the UFS is the older legacy file system and it works with the older slower computers this computer only has two gigabyte of RAM and that seems to work just fine with it uh, my next step in doing this uh, getting this working or whatever you want to call it is to uh, basically um, put in the uh, hard drive into the uh, HP and get it working uh, from there and then basically I've been trying to find my compact flash drive. I know I've got one somewhere. Uh, I'd like to use it instead of the uh, SD card just or the uh, flash drive because I think it would work better. It, the uh, HP has a uh, card reader right on the front of it. It came with it. And uh, it's just uh, a lot easier just to stick that compact flash drive into that, run it from there, and be all hunky-dory. So that's uh that's the way i'm going to do that probably and uh this is uh again just part of the uh things that's going on uh the computer is out, uh, sp supposed to be delivered tomorrow according to F uh, fedex tracking um so we'll see uh, but uh, at any rate i, I want to try to get in there this evening or the even this afternoon and start working on clearing the um, floor and get that done and uh, get the uh, new mat and chair in and uh, maybe maybe come up with uh, uh, some uh, stuff back in the shop again that would be kind of nice uh, I did some things which I haven't really explained yet uh, back there uh, well, especially with a 3d printer I, I created another holder on the pegboard for a uh, quarter inch uh, nut not a quarter inch nut driver quarter inch uh, drive bit driver uh, you guys have seen I know those many, millions of times they they just basically you put those little uh, hex bits in them and screwdrivers or whatever or whatever Phillips or flat or whatever whatever kind of hex bits you use and that's just for the driver itself the handle I guess is what you'd call it but uh, so I've got that up there and, and that worked out really nice and uh, I designed that myself and uh, so you know just things I've been doing on that and uh, like I say it's uh, working out really nice 
But uh, on this uh, USB, now you can see it shows up under the network. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, on the uh, file uh, manager. Now if I close out the file manager, you can still access it. You can see it up here, USB on FreeNAS. And that all you have to do is hit that. And there it is again. And uh, so basically it's easy to get to and easy to copy things. There's no problems with it. Very happy with it. Very happy indeed, and uh, so like I say, that's uh, that's going to be where we're going to be at with that. And like I say, once I get the uh, the big hard drive, the three terabyte in there installed, make sure that works all good. And uh, once I do that, and then we can set up the uh, the bad, the worst part about it is I have to take everything off of that drive and put it somewhere else temporarily, and then I can basically copy it back over to that drive after I get it in there and get it re reformatted. It has to be reform reformatted to work under NAS or free NAS as the UFS file system and I don't know what, st what that stands for but uh, anyway that's what the, it uses to... Uh, I didn't really want to do that. I wanted to use MS-DOS uh, FAT32 uh, again so mainly because I could pull that drive out and put it in something else and it would work just fine. Uh, the way it is now, uh, you, you can't use the drive that's in there now, the uh, one terabyte, unless you reformat it. And so that really is not handy at all. It's not, uh, it's not something that's uh, going to cause me concern, but like I say, at the same time, I just wish it was easier to do. It would have been nice to be able to uh, format it as uh, FAT32 and then went from there. But, you know, it is what it is, and uh, I, this is what I wanted to do, and this is what I'm doing, so. Uh, again, not a problem. I can take the drive out and put it on another free NAS system. It will be able to be uh, read from that. Uh, so, in case, I'm, I'm not saying something would happen, I've got the uh, original installer for this, and, you know, I can just reinstall it, if nothing else. Uh, there shouldn't be anything that goes wrong with it, so, uh, like I say, that's... Uh, uh, I, I shouldn't lose any data is what I'm saying uh, according to this so uh, I guess that's about it um, the uh, I don't know if you guys have seen this GPS 7 tablet now that's that uh, well guys you guys may remember that's the uh, the GPS tablet that I was sent from uh, the company in China for the uh, review which I did and uh, that's the uh, basically the files from it. I I, I got to looking at the uh, the tablet itself, and it is a ARM-based tablet, and as such, it could run Android. And uh, been kind of toying with that idea of running Android, but I wanted to make sure I backed up all the uh, files that was on it first, and that's what I did. And basically, you have under this is your maps. That's where it, it's at right there. And, uh, you know, all this stuff apply, uh, applies to the um, um, GPS. And now this tablet was running a version of DOS, or not DOS, Windows CE. Now, I think that's an antiquated uh, operating system, but it uh, apparently runs under that ARM uh, as well as... Uh, I guess on uh, uh, again, Intel, I think. It runs on Intel. It may not run on Intel, though, come to think of it. I don't know. But anyway, that's what it was running. And But, you know, I'd rather have Android on it, and I think it would be a much better, more useful tablet if I did that. And then I'm thinking about, uh, like I say, getting it to boot up in, in Android and see see what it does from there. But uh, also from, the, from this... Uh, uh, thing here I want to take these maps and try to put them onto my um, uh, system on the car on my uh, head unit on the car and see if that will uh, allow me to use uh, see it says voice here the the voices and now I like to like to put the voices in that and see if it will allow me to use the um, one in the car the same way as I'm using this one it had the voice uh, uh, directions and things and I may just play around with that and see if I can get it to do that. If not, then, you know, uh, whatever. But uh, 
Uh, like I said, that was the same basic interface uh, on that. The only difference was, again, this was running under Windows CE, and uh, that one runs under Android. Now, I think these, these parts here, I don't think there's any difference in those. I don't believe there's any difference at all in the uh, folders that support it. Uh, I think the files are, you know, probably the same, everything else. I'm going to check, but uh, I think I want to try to do that and see if I can incorporate that into the car unit, and that way I would have the same basic unit that was in the um, on the tablet, which I did like, and I'd have that on the car. So that would be kind of neat, and that's my idea uh, behind that. And uh, so uh, I guess this is going to be... <laughs> This is going to be, I didn't really think I was doing a Friday flat, but this is probably going to be it, I guess, because, uh, like I said, I, I, I really don't have anything else going. Uh, my daughter, I don't know, you guys, I probably didn't tell you this, but my, my daughter had uh, gallbladder surgery uh, uh, basically uh, over the last couple days as far as, uh, well, she only had it one day, but uh, she'd been in the hospital recovering from that, and I think she is back home now. And, of course, she's in pain, but other than that, I think she's doing be better than she was. Um, so, uh, very pleased about that. And, uh, like I said, she uh, she has, uh, she's had a rough kind of thing going with the uh, surgeries and things like that in her life. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping she, this will uh, get her fixed up for a while and she, she won't have to go through any more surgeries for a while. And I hope that's, uh, hope and pray, actually. Uh, so that's that uh, but anyway wanted to mention that in passing uh, not much else going on today is eh, partly sunny I'd say it's kind of mixed overcast but there is sun out there and uh, the temperature I don't know what it is right now but uh, we can take a look at that real quick uh, looks like about 36 so not great not uh, worse in the world, I guess, but uh, it's what it is. Um, so that's that. Uh, like I say, that's uh, pretty much going to do me. Um, I uh, again, I want to get that uh, work done in the uh, shop and get that uh, mat out of there and get that started up. I've thought up another way of doing that where I make it do it on my own uh, without Lexi, and uh, I'm thinking maybe I can use just one of those furring strips to. Uh, pick up that desk uh, I think that might be enough uh, leverage to get it up and then I'm thinking that other shorter piece I could use that to prop that up and then get underneath that and uh, pull that out while it's propped up and I wouldn't really need any help to do that I also can curl that up that mat that's down there it can be curled up where I can get a hold of it easier and uh, that would be helpful also so that's uh, some of the things I've been thinking of. I've been trying to get things out of there when I, as I've been messing with this FreeNAS server. Uh, I go in there to uh, do some tweaking and things like that, and each time I come out, I try to find something else to put, pick up off the floor and uh, to clear it out in there. Uh, there's not that much left, so it shouldn't take very long to do. And so that should be uh, something I get done today, hopefully. And hopefully I, I, I get back in the shop here eventually. I'm hoping to do that. Uh, I may even try to pick out the or uh, unpack the uh, chair today and get that put together. I was going to do it the other day and I got busy doing something else, so didn't do it. So, All right, I think that's going to do me. I think you guys should have a great day. And I do really appreciate you watching this uh, stuff I put out. And. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching, and we will see ya. Uh -huh.